Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study program 1. Write a Python program a function to print n Fibonacci numbers. So before we proceed on to the actual program, so we must understand what do you mean by Fibonacci numbers. So here Fibonacci number starts with 0. This is the first number and the second number is 1. So addition of these gives me the third number 0 plus 1 that is 1. So this second number will become first and this third number will become second. 1 plus 1 it will become 2. Similarly 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and 2 plus 5 and so on. Now let us begin with actual code in Python using f keyword we are going to define a user defined function called Fibo. And inside the round bracket, I'm going to pass n as argument and put colon. So after the indentation case, here I'm going to declare and initialize a variable called first is equal to zero. As in sequence, the first number is zero. Next, I'm going to write second this is another variable whose value is one. Now I'm going to use iterative statement for i in range of n and put colon. Now i value for the first time it is 0 and n value is whatever you are going to pass to this particular variable. Now I am going to write print first. So after giving indentation space I am going to write print I want to write first. I want to print the value stored in the variable called first. Next put comma here I'll write end is equal to so double quotation mark with one empty space double quotation mark and close the bracket because I want to have one digit space in between these digits so that's the reason end is equal to this space now I'm going to write third equal to first plus second now I'm going to initialize first is equal to second second equal to third so here user defined function is over so with alignment of this def i'm going to declare a variable called n of type integer and in input statement I'm going to ask the user to enter how many Fibonacci numbers you want to enter. End the double quotation mark and close brackets. Now it's time to call this particular function by its name. I'm going to write here Fibo and inside the bracket n. So this variable I'm going to pass as an argument. Now, once we try to execute this program, here I'll write output. It will ask the user to enter how many Fibonacci numbers you want to enter. For example, I'm going to enter 5. Now n is equated with value. 5. So n is holding value 5. After this statement, we have got a function call. Control directly jumps to the function definition. It is going to set first is equal to 0, second is equal to 1 for i in range of n. Now n value is 5. So excluding 5, it is going to stop at 4 because i index number starts from 0 to 4. That is 5 digits it is going to print. Now for the first time i value is 0 which is less than 4 so hence these four statements will get executed so it is going to print first so for the first time first is what first is 0 next you can observe second second is 1 so it is printing right now first so with empty space we are going to calculate the next remaining three statements so third is equal to first plus second. You can observe that this one is third by adding first plus second. We got 
third now first is equal to second so second value is equated to first so this second will become first and this third will become second so here this third digit will become second digit so once again control jumps to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 earlier it was 0 now it is 1 which is less than 5 so hence once again condition is true now it is going to print first now what is the value of first first is 1 it is going to print 1 now third is equal to first plus second now first is 1 second is 1 so it will become third now first is equal to second so here this first will become second or you can say this second will become first and this third will become second next once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 which is less than 4 so print first so now first value is what 1 so it is going to print 1 third is equal to first plus second so here we are going to add first and second 1 plus 2 it will become 3 so this is the third now first is equated to value second so here this second will become first and this third will become second so here this third will become second digit once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 which is less than 4 once again it is going to print the first so what is the value of first that is 2 so here it is going to print 2 now third is equal to first plus second you can observe that so first plus second that is 2 plus 3 is what 5 so this 5 will become third now so first is equal to second so here this second will become the first and this third will become second so this third will become second so once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 4 so which is equal to n that is 4 only so once again the condition is true it is going to print first now first value is what it is 3 so here it is printing value 3 next third is equal to first plus second you can observe that first plus second 3 plus 5 it will become 8 now first is equal to second and second is equal to third so this second will become first and the next digit will become second once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 5 which is less than 4 hence condition is false once the condition is false the control comes out of this iterative statement and then it is going to terminate the program by printing the output 0 1 1 2 3 so you can observe that there are first five digits of fibonacci numbers are printed now let us execute this program and check out the output for that i will take you to vs code here you can observe that we have uh, come to vs code now let us write def here i am going to write fibo and inside the round bracket i am going to pass argument n and colon and press enter from this point onwards i am going to fast forward this part of the video so that we can save our time now it's uh, time to go for execute program let us uh, save this file by pressing ctrl s first and then click on run click on start debugging and click on python file debug the currently active python file now here in the terminal you can observe is asking the user enter how many fibonacci numbers you want to print so for example i'm going to type 5 and press enter here you can observe it is printing 0 1 1 2 3 the first five fibonacci series it is printing i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end